Thank you. Send, send a, a, message, a serious message of greetings and solidarity to the people of Manchester and the greater Manchester area who are here today to oppose the fascists. That message comes from Disabled People Against Cuts, who I'm a member of our National Steering Committee. We're proud to be with you here today. For the last five years, we've been facing an onslaught from this government. A government that's a government of division. A government that divide and rule. A government that scapegoated disabled people and benefit claimants in an attempt to push through their austerity practices. The result of that has been an increase in, race, in attacks on disabled people. We recognise that the attacks on us were well, not just attacks on disabled people, but if they could get away with, it with us, they'd get away with, it with other groups as well. So we've always worked together to stand united with all oppressed groups and all of those fighting racism, all of those fighting sexism and oppression just because of who they are. And we will continue to do that. We warned that if the government could get away with attacking us, it would turn its attention to other groups and how right we were. The attacks now on migrants, on refugees, on asylum seekers and on the Muslim community is an attempt to distract away from the, 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 the disadvantage and the chaos that this government is bringing bonds and austerity and turn us against each other. DPAC will be united in making sure that we won't let that happen. We'll be with you on this march today. We'll be with you as we hope you will be with marching us in here against the Tory party conference in October where we'll be back to bring all of our forces together to show that this country we will not be divided. Migrants, refugees, asylum seekers are welcome here. Thank you very much.